There we go. Okay, our last session is titled, uh, last lightning round session, it's titled Scan Day with John Sarnowski, the director of the Res Carter Foundation, and Laura Kayasan, the adult services librarian at the Door County Library in Wisconsin. Take it away. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Wisconsin. Uh, for the next 10 minutes, we're going to be talking about uh, getting local history into an archive and onto the World Wide Web using uh, open source software. Uh, we at the Res Carter Foundation have been holding what we call scan days around the state. And you can find more about us and what we do at our uh, website at www.rescarta.org. Uh, okay. So uh, what's a scan day? Well, the foundation provides uh, flatbed scanners, rotary scanners, slide scanners, and digital cameras to the library. Uh, we also provide training for volunteers to man the scanners. Uh, the library uh, provides the uh, promotion and invites the patrons to the site to bring in their photographs and postcards and memorabilia. Uh, and the uh, items are then scanned or photographed, metadata is added uh, from the worksheets filled out by the patron, and then a collection is made and then a website is created on the same day. So what really is it? It's really kind of an exciting uh, event. Uh, patrons are really connecting to the library. Uh, you know, items come out of hiding. We've had things where, you know, the historical society locally said, well, there's nothing here. We've got everything. We know what's out there. And then suddenly in walks, you know, a thousand postcards of a very small town in Wisconsin. Uh, we have families sharing. Uh, people uh, are out there looking at, at parts of, uh, of an item and say, hey, that's my uncle's and that's my grandfather's. And then finally we find out that they're related. Uh, the fact that the technology works gets people excited, seeing you know scanners doing their thing and people taking photographs. It's really just a fun uh, and busy day. And what can be digitized? Well, of course, you know on flatbeds we can do photographs and pamphlets. Uh, we can do audio cassette tapes. We bring a converter for that. Uh, but then we can take photographs of butter churns and plates and buttons and those kinds of things. We do 35 millime millimeter slides and film. But we can't uh, bring microfilm scanners because first they're expensive and they're very large and hard to move. But Laura will talk about that later. Uh, what does it take to make a digital archive? Uh, well, you have to add metadata to your uh, images. You have to tag your photographs. Uh, you can use optical character recognition on your text materials so they can be full text searchable. You can use automatic audio transcription to make your audio materials uh, text searchable. Uh, you build a collection by gathering things and making directories, and then you create a website by typing a lot of stuff. Well, that sounds like a lot of work, but with our software, free uh, software is available to anyone worldwide to use, uh, we use simple forms. So uh, here you see a photograph uh, of baseball players in the, in the car. Uh, we put a title in, we put an abstract, and then you fill out a simple uh, form and save that. Uh, the conversion. We're, we take the JPEGs and PDFs and WAVs and whatever format the scanner or the camera uh, produces, and we write out a uh, Library of Congress standard format. Uh, we embed the Library of Congress metadata into it, so you're filling out simple forms and using software in fairly simple uh, formats in order to create Library of Congress standard output. Uh, the collections here, you'll see that there's city directories and local history and photographs, and, and again, the collection manager allows you to create those uh, collections or sub-collections. So uh, going to uh, www.rescarta.org, you can actually get the uh, software. And what I'm going to do is take a, a quick uh, pop over here and show you some of the sites. This is our, our website. And down here on the front page, uh, on our home page, you'll find a little Scan Days uh, link. You can find out more about Scan Days and what you can do. Uh, this is Galesville, uh, population 1,500. Uh, these are those postcards that came in. Uh, we scanned uh, probably 250 postcards that day, uh, but a lot of other things came in as well. Um, some of the tools uh, that we had there were uh, uh, photographs, of course, of uh, fire hydrants and all kinds of, of interest. Uh, we had, uh, there used to be a medical college there, and they brought in uh, medical college uh, bleeding kits and things like that. Hudson area, they used to, the city of Hudson used to actually create money, and this was almost in mint condition. It was great seeing that kind of stuff. Uh, Independence, lots of old photographs of the town and disasters that happened in the town. Um, 
Westby uh, population, about 2,200 here in Wisconsin. Uh, they brought in a lot of, uh, of photographs and a lot of geological materials, which again, because we used uh, OSARP on the uh, item, we could go in here and look for uh, things like Smith and find it and be able to pop it up. And if you were looking for your Smith family Robinson, uh, you could find it. Okay. Also, because the website is uh, a no-brainer, no you just pointed at your data, so there's no work to be done. It gives you all these features of being able to search and to be able to clip and cut uh, without the library doing a lot of work. So that's what uh, the Rescarta Foundation uh, does for you. And I'm going to turn uh, time over to Laura so she can talk about uh, Door County and what they did using uh, Rescarta Web. Thank you. Um, I, I have great interest in history and I have a little background in technology and I decided to use my library um, position where I'm in charge of the history room and genealogy room to um, look into digitizing newspapers but it seems like most of the, the libraries doing it were big state libraries or large public libraries. It seemed a little daunting but um, things sort of started falling into um, my lap. I went to a technology conference and learned about Minnesota's um, digitization of newspapers. They're part of the Chronicling America project and I um, did a lot of research but I kept hearing good things about a company in Wisconsin called Northern Micrographics and the, scans, the scanning they did for Minnesota newspapers. So I, I did a lot of research but um, finally um, it came down to um, realizing that we needed some money so our library director um, talked to the library foundation and came up with one grant and a man who just happened to be in the history room uh, said he was in charge of a small family grant called the My Haugen Foundation and, and told me I should apply for a second grant there and um, with that money falling into my lap I decided to go ahead and um, give this project a try. The l fortunate thing is um, that uh, well, I realized that our, a lot of the projects are very expensive because they use the Content DM software, which is, costs a lot of money to purchase in the thousands of dollars to start with, and then you have to pay a licensing fee every year. And um, I knew that we couldn't afford that sort of thing because we're really very small and don't have a lot of budget for this. So I took the grant money and um, used that to pay for good quality scans because we needed to have um, a good quality OCR where you can do um, optical character recognition so you can do searches on the, um, the database. I got permission from the local newspaper to use their microfilms which were in nearly pristine condition. Our library microfilms were in really bad shape um, because they're so heavily used but these were really good condition. Um, then we um, talk to the county. We had one member of the county board who was really big on local history and um, the county was very helpful in um, agreeing to put our newspaper database on their server. So um, once I got uh, the scans I realized I found the Riscarda Foundation was doing um, software that would allow me to do pretty much what I wanted to do with at no cost and John Sarnowski was a great help in um, helping me to understand the technology behind it. So um, I processed the newspapers myself. I had the scans done by Northern Micrographics and um, then we, with John Sarnowski's help we put them on the county server with the help of one of the IT staff over at the county. And as a result, we have a really wonderful project that people are using very heavily and you can't imagine how appreciative they are that these things are online and available to them. Um, we, we actually, I, they first tried just doing up to 1923-24 because of the copyright uh, cutoff date and that was 40 microphones. Then we uh, had a little money left over so we went and did um, 16 more microphones and our collection is now out from 1862 to 1941 and includes all the newspapers that were published in Door County at that time. Um, as you can see on the slide it cost about $31,000. All that money really went to um, the scanning quality, high quality um, TIFF files that we received. Um, and we don't pay any maintenance which to me is a godsend um, because 
we don't have a lot of budget for that sort of thing. So um, that's, I, I'm trying to talk fast because I realize we're out of time, but <laughs> that's basically what uh, we did, and you can have a look at it online. It, it's just marvelous. Uh, the, the database went down for a short time last week, and I immediately had three emails from people who were um, worried that it wasn't working, and they had been using it heavily. So we know that it's being used. Um, also, I do have Google Analytics tra tracking who um, logs into the website. You're welcome to um, try it out. It's very easy to work with. And if you have any questions, um, contact me at the library. All right. Thank you, John and Laura. Um, we have time for one question from the audience. OK, I'm going to choose a question. We have a lot of questions here. But I'm going to choose, um, does Riscarda uh, cover other sta states as well, or are you just uh, confined yourself to Wisconsin? Well, the software is, uh, is uh, available worldwide. We actually have Russian and Slovenian and North Africa and Ch Chinese uh, sites. Uh, but the Rescarta Foundation and dragging scanners around, I get my putt-putt and I drive. So uh, we're ah. located here in Wisconsin, so we do uh, Wisconsin and uh, eastern Minnesota, northern Iowa, northern Illinois. So as far as I can drive in a car in a day, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, well, fair enough. <laughs> well, maybe we need to just come up and uh, watch how you do it, and mm. we, you could be a model for us. Mm. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for our lightning round. Uh, we uh, This is the second year in a row we've done that. Uh, this, and uh, I would just say uh, success yet again.